All right, guys. I'm not sure if you can see the background, but we're in Seattle. It's 4 p.m. on a Tuesday evening. Staying in an Airbnb in downtown. And I definitely wanted to get this footage of Tesla full self-driving, you know, through basically rush hour traffic downtown. We're on the freeway now. We're going to uh, merge off of it to downtown Seattle. Probably going to be lots of traffic, lots of foot traffic, lots of hills, lots of one-way streets. Um, lots of people changing lanes as you see here so you know if there's an FSD video to watch it's probably this one you know all the other stuff for the most part is easy compared to what you'll probably see in the next you know 10 to 12 minutes here we could get lucky and it could be a little little easy but uh yeah we're talking you know rush hour traffic in seattle downtown so let's sit back and watch the power of full self-driving and i'll talk here and there if necessary but yeah let's see how the car does in half a mile we're gonna need to merge left here to go to downtown normally when you get off the freeway you know you get off in a right lane here you're going to be making a left turn which is unusual that's another powerful thing about full self driving you know the car knows where to go the, the first time I was here I, I was driving myself and I knew that I had to turn soon, so I stayed in the right lane, and it was too late to merge all the way across the freeway to the right lane and go left to merge to downtown. You know, and a lot of times when you're driving somewhere new, you'll miss your stop, but not with full self-driving. The car knows exactly, for the most part, you know, where to, where to get off at. So if you're driving downtown and you wanna make sure you're making the right turns, you know, click on a full self-driving and, you know, the car's going to know where to go more than you will if it's your first time being somewhere. be posting more videos this week of driving in downtown Seattle um, so if you like this video you know keep an eye on some other videos coming out this week of some more downtown Seattle full self-driving Lots of hills uh, in downtown Seattle. It'll be interesting to see how it handles them. A lot of weird, you know, intersection merges. Gonna have to change lanes with a lot of traffic here and. Yeah, lots of people on foot, so that'll add a new element, another element too. You can see the ocean in the background. Very congested here. I'm not sure if you saw that, but the car 
I thought it was making a turn to a different lane, but it was just trying to get over a little bit from the cars to the right. So it's super congested here. Lots of people down here just, you know, not crossing when they have the right of way, just like running across the street. Lots of foot traffic. That guy stopping in the middle of an intersection to try to merge lanes. Tesla stop for him. Car knows we need to make a turn up here, so it turned ahead of time into the right lane. foot traffic right in front of us the car did stop in the middle of a crosswalk but that's because we have a red and uh it was going to yield at it it was going to stop and look both ways and technically we can go now there we go some more traffic I've said this a hundred times on the channel, but it's so nice having full self-driving during rush hour traffic or just traffic in general. You know, my feet are off the pedals, my hands are off the wheel. I'm looking around, enjoying the scenery, and I don't have to make any decisions. The car is making the decisions for me. I don't have to stress. Just sitting back, looking around at the scenery, and the car is thinking for me. It's nice. Yeah, there's, there's some times when I'm just working and I'm in a rush and you know, I, I, I'm driving and I'm preferring to drive, but if there's traffic, I just flick it on to full self-driving and I let the car handle the traffic for me. Hmm, you could probably scoot up a little bit. I'm not sure why we're not scooting up a little bit. You know, we're a little bit behind the crosswalk there, but not, a, not an issue, lots of foot traffic. And we're off.
once we get to our stop, I'm going to flick off of uh, full self-driving because, you know, the car doesn't know how to get into the parking structure in the alley. Um, so the video is going to end here in the next minute or two. But so, yeah, you know, we didn't have a lot of crazy things happen, but you saw I went from congested freeway to getting, you know, merging into downtown, going down hills, stopping for people, uh, merging, stopping at lights, adjusting, you know, in, in mid, you know, in the same lane. So it handled it pretty well. Pretty impressed. Like I said, I'm gonna have more videos coming out this week. Um, but yeah, full self-driving can handle rush hour traffic and downtown traffic pretty well. So I'm going to stop the video here because uh, we're getting to the location, but yeah, pretty successful drive and another example of the power of Tesla full self-driving. Thanks for watching.